Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2, where I'm gonna rearrange the microphone for a second. Alright, hopefully that's good. Okay, so it has been a while since I have played this game, because I've been camping. Been back for a few days. But, um, I'm like, ah, um, <laughs> but, okay, okay, my, I, I played Witcher and Dragon Age earlier this week, and I already mentioned in those videos, but freaking, did you guys freaking see the Mass Effect Andromeda trailer from E3? I know this will probably come out a little, like, like a week from now, maybe, but, oh my gosh, <laughs> Did you see? Huh? I don't want to like. I don't want to like say any of the names. The new ship. Okay, I I thought I would never love another ship like I love the Normandy. I was I was resigned to it because I was like, they're probably gonna make something completely different or something so similar that it doesn't like matter or anything. Like I don't know. And like and I I, I just didn't know. But the new ship. You see it for like half a second flying by on the screen, and I just I died. I died. Like, I... I'm not too fond of the name, I'll be honest. I, t I think I tend to, I think One of the reasons I like the Normandy so much is because it kind of stuck with the classical ship naming system from the nautical days, right? New ship name's a little bit melodramatic, something you might call a sword if you created your own sword or whatever. You know what I mean? Like a Dragon Age type thing. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's gonna be fine, I think. And, and uh, I mean, I was out camping during E3... But as soon as I got back into service, there was a place like five or like like ten minutes out or something, like five miles away, where you could get a little bit of service. And as soon as I got to that point, I actually stopped and was like like when I was driving away, and like to go back home, and I, I stopped and I checked YouTube and I realized that one of the guys, because I completely forgot, one of the guys I follow on YouTube actually gets sponsored to do the trailers on E3. And I saw that he had some trailers up for me three, and I was like, <gasps> so I started scrolling through them, and I was like, oh my gosh! I found the Andromeda one, and the quality wasn't very good. It was not very good, like 4G or anything. But I wanted to die, and it seems like they're going to be focusing that the that the main protagonist, the default, the default anyway, is kind of defaulted to the female character this time instead of the male, which I think is 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 cool. I mean, it's different. Like you don't. There's not, I mean, Mirror Catalyst, uh, like Mirror's Edge and Mirror's Catalyst as a female protagonist. I've never played those, but that's pretty cool. Um, and, of course, you have your role-playing games, which I'm used to playing, so I can play as a female if I want to. Um, but I, then again, I don't have a problem playing male protagonist games because uh, I like to watch an attractive man running around on the screen. Like, I have a bunch of the Assassin's Creed's for, for that reason. <laughs> and the other reasons, too. But there's that reason. And Geralt, hey, Geralt's attractive, or Gerald, or whatever. You know, from Witcher 3. But it's fun. it is fun. Like, I played the male Shepherd first in Mass Effect 1 and 2, and then I played the female, and I think it was the voice acting that made a big difference, too. So we'll see if in the next game, like, who, who, who's going to be the winner in the voice acting, or if it's all going to be kind of like Dragon Age Inquisition, where they're all good, you know? At least I think so. Um, but... Anyway, I, I saw... So, and the last name... The last name for the new, for the new protagonist... I'm not going to say it either, um, because, just in case, because I know some people, I, I was tempted to not know anything about any of it, you know, I was tempted to just, like, completely stay out of it, you know, but at the same time, it's just, it's, ah, oh, you just want to, you just, they feed you tiny, tiny tidbits, you know, and, and there's more information yet to come, apparently, but um, the last name was actually sort of um, uh, hinted at, there was a clue in the first trailer they put out about Mass Effect Andromeda, where they have Ghost Riders in the Sky playing, right? Um, and, uh, you know, <laughs> if you know the name, then... <laughs> but also, there was a dog tag, um, apparently, that if you notice the dog tag and could zoom in, like, take a screenshot and zoom in on it, um, it had the name on there, but it was not... A, that, that character was not... Because that character, was, I, I believe, was staring at Earth. That's not your character. Your character is later... Um, I, I think a descendant of, of that person, of that character in that trailer, which I thought was a very interesting way to go about it, you know? Um, cause it makes sense because you're taking place in Andromeda, you, you can't have this character staring at Earth all of a sudden appear in Andromeda because then in the Mass Effect universe they do keep things somewhat realistic and that, you know, I mean the Mass Effect drives and like the, the relays and stuff, but that those are very, those are limited while they're amazing and they make travel between stars possible. 
they don't have that to the Andromeda uh, system, to the Andromeda galaxy, you know? So, the, I mean, the, the trailer, the, the new trailer kind of shows you that. Like, you're waking up out of cryo, basically, is what it looks like. And I wanted to cry as soon as she popped up. I was like, ah! Like, and the last name, I, so I, I'd seen a hint of it before. And I'd actually been kind of thinking up names. But now I saw somebody saying something like, oh, they got all these cool names for their new star child. And I'm like, I got a list. I have a list written down somewhere of names. And uh, uh, we'll see. Like, uh, I'm just, I'm incredibly excited. There, and there's like... I haven't read everything about it because part of me is like, ah, I don't really want to read everything about it yet, you know. But, uh, I, but I don't like maybe maybe it would be a good idea to be a little bit more informed about what the next game's gonna bring. It's gonna be kind of I don't know. There, we, we'll okay. We'll have to play this game, but I'm I'm excited. Well, if we want, if you want to talk to me about it, I will totally would love to talk to people about it more. So throw a comment in this video and I may be out camping I may not but when I get back I want to talk to people about it and see what you guys think about the new about the new Andromeda trailer I, I saw that Lady Ash uh, Lady Insanity uh, did a breakdown trip the breakdown of the trailer and I don't actually watch a whole lot of her videos but I do on occasion because I think her and um, uh, like fluffy ninja llama and uh, Dana Duchy are three that I believe are women who do uh, like montage things. They're the kind. They're the people that you go if you want to watch uh, like a, for like Dragon Age or for Mass Effect. If you want to see um, how a different kind of route would play out, like you can go. But you can go watch. Like I, I, I can't remember, but I did see that one of them had done, uh, or both, or all of them had done something. A compilation of the soulless breakup like every single option that you could try which is what I did you know obviously but like you can watch it in a much clearer like cleaner cut thing they're very good at it they're very edited videos and I saw that they're doing um uh, like Fallout 4 stuff kind of showing you like they show you like I think Dana Dutchie has like a five and a half hour video of, of Dragon Age banter of all the I believe all the banter with every companion in Dragon Age just in the field banter you know so they do like montage compilation not really montage compilations like uh, showing you like different um, routes or options or the, the, the conversation or a romance they'll show you like the basically cut scenes of a romance or something so highly edited but shows you situations that you may not have experienced in, in, in a much simpler cleaner form than watching a let's play so something i i really admire because i don't know they i mean like i don't know i think i can't remember it might be fluffy ninja llama but i saw that they like every single one of them i think has to have a character of every single race of every of both genders of every single race um each uh specialization romancing every single character with each with each species and, and like, how do you even keep track of all of that? Like, uh, it, it blows my mind, and, and I should maybe, like, go pay attention more to, especially Lady Ash. She's got, uh, I think she's the biggest of the three. Or Lady Insanity, Ash. But, um, it's, some, it's something I greatly respect. Like, it's, it's really easy to make a Let's Play. Like, all you gotta do is, I mean, you gotta, you gotta pay for the, the equipment and then you record stuff you edit it by like listening to it in the background checking to make sure audio is okay every so often um cutting it cutting out places where like you go to the bathroom or something and that's it it's just basically unedited compared to what they do they have to spend like days i uh, can't even no, weeks on the thing like all they would do is sit down and play for like two weeks maybe and get like a five minute video out of that but like holy crap like i don't know it it, it blows my mind it's i it, and i i actually kind of do want to read it i think i think lady insanity ash she's a i, I want to call her lady ash i don't i don't know her i hate to like name drop too also like i don't usually say anybody else's names in these because i don't want to be like oh i'm name dropping because again i don't even watch very many of their videos like but i have oodles of respect and I think that Lady Ash has a uh, like a blog and stuff where she like you know chats and stuff and I, I actually follow her for um, update Bioware updates too as well 
for like interviews. She'll like uh, put updates on like interviews and stuff that they've done. So, but I, I'd like to read more. I also watched a tutorial she did on how to use the fly cam in Dragon Age. That was cool. Uh, I had to uninstall it, but after no a while. For you, oh, okay. But anyway, anyway, I'm just I'm I'm so excited about Andromeda. I, I don't know why I started talking. Oh, why I started talking about like Lady Ash and Dana Duchy and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> okay. I'm just very excited. I'm so incredibly excited. I can't even handle it. All right, let's go. Okay, also, okay, so somebody ages ago, so it's been a while since I've been able to play, but somebody ages ago in the comments mentioned that, so you'll notice, okay, you'll notice that we have, if you haven't played before, um, if you have, you, you already know what I'm exactly talking about, but we have one more dossier right there. Um, and I know we can go get that person, um, but for some reason, because I, the way, because the, the first way you play a game kind of sometimes tends to be the way you play it in the future, and that's how your mind is stuck in it, but somebody mentioned that you can actually get this person way sooner than I thought, like, as soon as you can go get the Reaper IFF, you can go get that person, basically, and I just never thought about it, I was like, okay, hey, I have to get, because like, when I did it before, I was like, I don't want to go get the Reaper IFF yet, you know, and so I made sure I got everybody's personal quests done, like, their loyalty missions done, and then we went, and then I got this person, and I was like, oh, like, it was a big surprise, except, except I knew, I thought maybe I had missed out on one or something, you know, and, and or that it was just weird or something, I don't know, but, yeah, you can go get that person, and... Apparently, you can bring them on, like, a bunch of, like, I mean, you, especially bringing them on a certain person's, um, <laughs> mission, personal mission, is apparently very interesting in, in some ways, and I was like, I never even thought about that, like, I never even thought about getting this person and bringing them out on other per people's missions, like, it just never crossed my mind that you could do that, because I always got all of them done first, and then got this person back here, and... I was completely blown away, and I was like, I want to start over and try and try that, but I think next time um, I play, I mean, I don't know if you guys are, like, how many people are interested in it, but I do want to play, like, second seasons of some of these games, you know? I do plan on making a, another character and uh, probably playing through Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 again. I'm tempted to actually upload this to Mass Effect 3 and play Mass Effect 3 again, but it, that one would be really super pared down because um I already did that like you know and there's not there's not a, a, and I've done as much as I can similar I think there's gonna be a lot of changes but it would just be a less technically adverse <laughs> Mass Effect 3 uh playthrough with the Raven Shepherd and it would make maybe a little bit more sense to me there are things that I would be able to uh do perhaps better and like um like certain scenes that I could trigger with certain characters that would be making a little more sense in story and I would also my biggest thing is that I kind of missed out on the complete Mass Effect 3 extended ending because it didn't download properly and I got all the way to the end and I had a had a fit when I thought that that was the extended ending until I finally, it took me an hour to figure out that it hadn't downloaded properly. And I had to re-download it and I was only able to restart from a certain point and not at the, where the actual, the actual extended ending starts quite a ways back on like the second to last mission. And I, I missed out on all of that. I missed out on all of it. And I would love to experience, like I was like, oh, I'll just make a new character and play through, you know, play through Mass Effect 3 properly. But I want Raven Shepard to have a proper Mass Effect 3 play. So, and I might even, I was thinking, I might even do that on my own. But if any of you are interested in seeing a really pared down, like, to, like, cutscenes or interesting moments or something, um, let me know. Um, or, or if you're not, let me know also. Um, because I'm totally okay playing it by myself. <laughs> I'll do it anyway, but, yeah. Um... But yeah, so I was thinking, I was like, oh, maybe we'll go get this person really quick. And I was like, you know what? That would just kind of throw me off at this point. I'm going to do what I did last time. Because the dynamic between characters changes, like between Shepard, I feel it. At least in my head. Like my little head can't anything. I go, the dynamic would change a little bit between Shepard and this character. Um, if I if I had this character for too long. And so, or for longer than I had before. So that's my excuse. Um, so yeah. 
But what we are gonna do is we're gonna go do Samara and Jack's missions. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go stand up by Joker for a second. I just wanna like hear him say things. And maybe we'll actually run around and poke everybody really quick. That would be a good idea. I wanna make sure I get that all good. I think, um, well, I know for a fact that Caden was sitting... Edie, we've got venting from the number 16 lithium heat sink. Um, Caden was sitting there in Mass Effect 1 in the Normandy SR1. You know what pisses me off? Calling this the cockpit. Alliance ships have bridges. Asari have cockpits. Oh, wait, no, they don't. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh! It really, you don't like calling this the cockpit? This is the bridge. I guess you're right. I guess they don't ever call it the cockpit. I installing some lava lamps. Maybe Christmas lights for ambience? What do you think? So he, he's actually turning to face me. I'm pretty sure he's not talking to Edie. He's like, the game is like, sort of like passive aggressively acknowledging that you're just standing back here. <laughs> it takes skill to make a ship bank in a vacuum. Don't think it doesn't. To make a ship bank in a vacuum. <laughs> He's like, why are you still back there? What do you want? Here, should I, like, get out of your, like... He probably won't, he probably wouldn't say anything if I'm too far away. <laughs> Does he only say, like, three things? That makes sense. Let's poke Edie. I always... Yes, Shepard. I always, like, try to... What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge where the navigator plots our FTL vectors. Where's the, the oh, are you the navigator? The yeah, sitting right here, thanks. <laughs> I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust mm -hmm. me. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in where a Where are you? Blue that's box kind of a located behind the medical bay. That's kind of a weird way to say it. <laughs> where are you? Or maybe where is your where is your your core or whatever? Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? <laughs> nah. Okay. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Just feels weird to not be able to acknowledge Edie very much. She's quite important. Like she's a she's a she's a. She's a shackled AI on your ship. Like, I would be giving her the utmost respect. You know what I'm saying? Commander. Yeah, let's be creepy something? a little bit. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Right, Ready okay, we're good. Anything. We live, <laughs> we'll get loud, <laughs> spill some drinks on the Citadel. I wish she would cross her arms or something. We'll talk later. Commander. She is so creepy with him. It's not her fault. Just the pro I don't know why the game I don't know why they decided to program her like that. Shepard. Ah, Morden, you look so good. Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions <laughs> and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew. Hard to concentrate. <laughs> affecting morale. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> oh. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate okay, mission. Let's see if this is, is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a... Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything Kay. you can get, I can use. I'll Find let you tech. work. We'll be here if you need me. Okay. So that's everybody up here. Oh, let's poke Kelly really quick. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing. Anything else, Commander? Okay. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Oh, um... Did we do this already? Yeah, we already did this. How do you feel about being assigned? I was hand... Uh -huh. How do I feel? But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. We will... Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. Right. I trust you Right! Implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall Your trust back. is well placed. I knew Kelly. it would. Anything else you'd like to talk no. about? Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Okay, so if you poke her a lot, does she become your, like, pal? 
I was like, who's up here? Nobody. Obviously, nobody. Just me. I wonder if I go up there, if it tells me. I guess it doesn't tell you that you're on all the on any of the floors. That'd be kind of funny. It's like, you are on this floor. I'm like, well, yes, I know I'm on this floor. <laughs> I guess there could be a situation where that, you know, you didn't know what floor you were on. I don't know. I really like Mass Effect 3, too. I don't know. I'm, I'm back on that now, thinking about playing that again. But I liked it a lot. I mean, and the extended ending, I think, definitely wrapped up a lot of loose ends. But the game, the whole, the, the rest of the game was good. There were things that I didn't like about it, like the whole fact that dark matter isn't a thing, which is just ripe for friggin' story, like, and, and the, uh, like how Cerberus was hinted at in Mass Effect 1, like a little bit, and then all of a sudden in Mass Effect 2 they're playing a big role, and Dark Matter is hinted at in Mass Effect 2, and then it plays zero role in Mass Effect 3, and that's because the lead writer changed, and that just it was ruined. Do you need something? Hey. Have a few minutes to talk? You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Seahawk, but any I have is yours to take. How are you feeling? No worse than ever. You needn't worry. And you. You are well. Okay. No need to worry about me. How are you holding up? I'm looking forward to the end of the mission. It has been many years since I felt I could relax anywhere. Hmm. I spent two years dead. Every moment seems irreplaceable now. I spent ten years dead. I understand the feeling. Strange that I should only reawaken now. When there is so little time left. Yeah. I really do. I like this part of the ship. I like this part of the ship. It's a good place. I don't know. In your head, it lands in your head. You know, you kind of make up, like, you know, little stories or whatever. And I think Shepard would just come in here to, like, chill. Take a few. Not too long, because my Shepard. She feels the weight of what she's doing. Like, I, I wish she could just, you know, do whatever she wanted, and maybe my next Shepard will kind of be like that. But it doesn't, and it doesn't really change the way the game plays out, but in your head, it changes the way you perceive the character and stuff. But my Shepard, I think, would like to come in here and take a breather every now and then, and just, like, sit. Not even necessarily talk to Thane, but just be here, I don't know, listening to him breathe. Is that weird? Like, just, like, peaceful, like, meditation type thing. I don't know. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to have talk I about. Have I run you out? Is it like a coffee mug? I love it. She has a more variety of books than I do. Meh. Meh. Should we, should we do a drink? Let's do... Let's do that one. I feel like Shepard approaches alcohol like very... Aggressively, <laughs> she's animated to it to uh, to approach it very aggressively. The male and the female, they both are animated. They just approach it quite aggressively. <laughs> All right, we'll go. We'll just go poke everyone, make sure we're all good, and then we'll go do some Mara. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Okay. Maybe another uh, time. I think we're good. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. I got my sister's, uh, my new sister's birthday was yesterday at this time of recording. And uh, I got her a telescope. And she freaking loves it. We went out last night, and it's just a cheapy, like, $35 telescope. It's got, like, a 20-millimeter lens and a 12 and a half. And it took me a while to figure it out. It's like a desk-mounted one. But we were able to get a really good zoom, or a really good, like, uh, magnification on the moon. And we were able to get, um, we were able to see couldn't actually see anything but we could see mars you know we found mars and then i'm pretty sure we found either saturn or jupiter because i am pretty sure i saw two teeny tiny pinpricks of moons around this because when a star doesn't flicker it's not actually a star it's a it's a planet right anytime you see the flickering of the stars um that means it's a star but if it's not flickering if it's just holding steady that's a planet 
Um, and so I was looking at that, like a big one off to the freaking uh, kind of west, out west a bit, and uh, like around 10 at night, and uh, I saw, I'm pretty sure she saw two. And uh, it, it was a very bright planet with, with two very bright but teeny tiny pinpricks of light on either side of it. Pretty sure those were two moons. How may I help you, Commander? I'm just shaking it. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Because I, even though I can't do anything with you, I feel bad that I just only can talk to you like once. We'll go. You meet again? How can I help you, Commander? Do you have everything you need? Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. Okay. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Back to work. Talk to Garrus. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. Optimizing weapons. Charges, oh, the game is just trying to tempt vectors, you into you know, infidelity. Perfect. I'm still trying to figure out how to prepare for this mission. Humans don't deal with stress the way Jorians <laughs> do. I, uh, I'm pretty sure my next Shepard is gonna, she's gonna be a female Shepard, and she's gonna romance Garrus. Uh, but not this one. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We Have you seen out, the landed, like the facial animation they showed for Andromeda? This time we've oh got my Miranda gosh. and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I prefer blind optimism. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. I am so excited to meet the new characters, meet the new people. I don't... It's just, I can't wait. Like, I know it's like, it's not gonna be like, oh, hey, the Turian is basically a replica of Garrus, you know? Or like, if you get a Turian companion, I haven't seen one. I assume there's gonna be one. Haven't seen one, though. Um, but I, I, I think we saw, we saw what might be an Asari. It might not be. Um, could be something similar. But, uh, I mean, and it could just be the fact that it's in a new engine, the Frostbite engine. Um, and everything looks different. The set they were showing in the trailer was all from gameplay. Like, gameplay footage. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And apparently it, the specs run similar to Inquisition because of it runs on the Frostbite engine. So my little Alienware thing, my Alienware thing runs Inquisition fine on high. It could probably even run things on Ultra pretty good. I just don't do that because I record. So... Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just can't forget. I can't wait. Why? Is it next year Shepherd. yet? Just checking in. How are you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. What are your thoughts about our mission? We'll push our enemies Oh, I should have uh, asked Jacob what he thought about that. step on their fingers one at a time until the Void takes them. Mm. What are your thoughts about our mission? Wait. We'll push yeah, our enemies it, like, flipped to the around, though. space. Then what do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Okay. Dead bunch. That's all for now. Shepherd. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's go see if I can poke my favorite engineers. I know you guys have more to say. Did I do something wrong with you guys? Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? Uh... How's the Normandy running? Say what you will about... I don't know if it can stand up to a collector attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Okay. And we can't talk to Jack, and we can't talk to Samara, but we can probably talk to Zaid, maybe. I should let you go. Oh, okay. Talk more. Let me later. just uh, let me just play with this. Can I? Oh, you can't like make it pile up. No, we're gonna leave it in there. There has to be a way than rather than like you know jettisoning it out the airlock. Why does he get the garbage chute? Like what? Is, what? I don't want to give him control of the garbage chute. 
All right, well, we might make this a long one, or I might upload two parts because uh, we just kind of basically talked about Andromeda and <laughs> talked the same old lines that we are used to talking with everybody. Except for Jokers. Jokers were awesome. I need to do that more. You know, I learned something new every game. I, oh, and I've caught up on most of the comments, I believe, at this point. I think there's... 10 or 12 left that I haven't caught up on. Uh, I appreciate you guys still commenting while I'm gone. I, I love to talk to you guys when I get back. I miss you guys while I'm gone. I do. I, I, I miss no messages for you, talking please. to everyone. It's... It's strange to be away for so long. Um, where do we want to go? We want to go to in Omega. Actually, really quick, let me get this flag out of the way. Actually, no. No, no I don't know. Yeah, no, let's not worry about it. We'll just uh, go to. Oh, and then the, yeah, there's the Firewalker DLC. I haven't done that yet. Oh, um, should we? Let's stop at the Shadow Broker base really quick, actually, because. Maybe for Zaid? Read it like a dossier thing on Zaid. Maybe we'll wait for a minute. What? I didn't realize though, but we are our, our, uh, the flags have gotten a lot smaller and are less egregious. Let's do Omega. Let's um, let's help Samara. Is this? I think that's it. I wish I told you kind of which one you had highlighted because the flags get in the way. Yay! Oh, let's finish. We can we can finish this because it was almost depleted, but I didn't. Take whatever you got, man. Away. I think I, I would like to actually read how they've like uh, got the the programming to work on this because I'm sure it's not like a spot like you got all the little tiny spots that like started freaking out at you. I'm pretty sure it's probably like a like a numbers thing, like how much. How many numbers are left on the planet, or whatever, you know what I mean? Launching probe. Of the resources there, it's not just, oh, you hit every single little tiny dot that flickered at you. But... Oh. I don't even know. I just wanted to be done. Be done! Like, did I miss any big zones or something? Where? Oh, there's something. You know, it would be interesting if they could chat, if they could chat, or talk, or whatever. Uh, Zaid and Jack. That would be a really interesting team to bring out. Is Zaid just a soldier too? I think he might just be a soldier. I don't think he has any special abilities. But I think he would be the only one who's a straight soldier. Oh, there we go. There's one. Probe launched. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. It's not going to go away. It's just going to stay there. Cool. Okay. 